What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. It is Odd Legend here, and we are going to be starting a bit more of some in-depth content on the channel today. Now, it's not going to require a lot of editing, it's not going to be a compilation, but I'm going to be explaining guides on how to complete the difficult parts of story mode, because I've had a few people ask me to do this, and I also want to produce some, I guess, community resources that people can access instead of having to go and hunt down people who have completed the story to explain how to complete it if they're stuck. Um... So I'm just going to do a video on each chapter here, starting with the um, main story, and then eventually we're going to move on to origin stories. And I'm just going to explain, break down the modifiers, special modifiers for the master section. I figure most people can complete the other three sections without too much help. So, <clears throat> or at least, you know, they will after a little bit of work. So I'm just going to explain the special modifiers, uh, play a couple of the nodes to showcase what kind of fighters and strategies will work well and maybe point out some specifically difficult nodes that each map has. Uh, and starting today, we are going to be going at a fishbone to pick here. Now, we're just going to look at these modifiers. Uh, and in general, throughout the, whole, um, throughout the whole master difficulty story, you're going to be often hit with the no diamonds, no golds, or no types, no, not a certain, or requiring a certain type, requiring a certain fighter. They love to do that. Um, <clears throat> they really do love to um, manipulate the types of fighters you can use to make it so that you just don't burn down every node with your strongest team. So you should be ready for that and always have a diverse roster or have a diverse roster ready to upgrade to take out certain nodes that will, for example, require a silver water double or something, you know, or maybe not, it won't be that specific, but like a silver double. You'll want to have a double-ish handy or something like that. <clears throat> <clears throat> or a fire misfortune, you'll want to have Hellcat or whichever other one. I forget if there's another one. And if you're lucky enough to have Furry Fury. Something like that. You want a diverse roster. Because he's water only, no golds, no diamonds, that type of thing. Eliza only, no big bands, whatever. Those are going to be very common. Um, now for this one, a fishbone to pick, uh, your modifiers are going to be repeat offense, which is only combo hits of 10 plus deal damage to the opponent. And it's pretty simple how you're going to want to get around this one. It's basically just going to be... <clears throat> you're just going to be wanting to go for high combo fighters. So generally for this node, double will not be your best. Double, Cerebella... <clears throat> who else? Beowulf for sure. Beowulf will really suck uh, for combos. <clears throat> for long combos. But those are going to be ones you don't want to go to because it's going to be difficult to get a lot of combos over 10 hits. Uh, fighters you'll definitely want to go for, Miss Fortune, Robo Fortune, uh, Squiggly for sure, Peacock can do it too, although you'll have to set up uh, a lot with her Argus Agony, so maybe not Peacock much. Um, Pain Wheel has lots of moves that go over, <clears throat> Big Band, amazing, pretty self-explanatory, you just want to go for long combo fighters, and obviously go for long combos in the battle. Don't fire off your blockbusters immediately, save them, save your blockbusters, high damage special moves to the end of the combo. <clears throat> and you've got with or without you, stuff a permanent cripple while near the opponent and permanent armor break while far away. This is not a very big deal, um, it's just going to make it a little bit easier to get killed or chipped out when you're near them, and <clears throat> or when you're far away from them, it's going to make it a little bit easier to get uh, chipped out or killed. And when you're close to them, it's going to make them a little bit tankier. It's not going to be a big impact if you have decent level fighters. So there's not really much you need to do to play around this one. Although, <clears throat> if you yeah, you can try to gain some buffs to counteract it, maybe. Gain some region to help with the chip damage from the armor break. But it won't really be a big deal, I don't think. Uh, and then the enemy, what doesn't kill you, has what doesn't kill you, um, which is a uh, modifier and... It deals 50% bonus damage for each current debuff. I imagine that means on them, so that's also not a huge deal. It's just going to contribute to the being chipped out theme, chipped out, uh, even if you're blocking hits. So you're just going to want to maybe bring, if, you, if you're having a problem surviving, you're going to want to bring some regen maybe to help give you some health back if you're having a problem surviving these nodes. Uh, so that's that to start off with here. <clears throat> pretty uh, self-explanatory how to deal with these. Now some difficult ones are definitely going to be this first one right here. Might trip some people up. It's going to be a dreadlocks and obviously with, with, the, with what doesn't kill you and repeat offense. Also you can only use bronze fighters on this node. So it's definitely going to get several people who do not have a bronze team ready. 
I'm gonna play this. I may not win uh, because I only have one bronze fighter that's upgraded. Uh, I've moved most of the rest of mine up to high level. So I likely will not win this, but I will play it to show you kind of the strategy. And I don't know exactly how this dreadlocks, how much recoil this dreadlocks is gonna give me, but we're gonna play it anyway. Um, <clears throat> oops, okay, I'm dealing with a bronze fighter, I forgot. I can't equip all the moves I wanna equip. And we're gonna shoot that one in there too. Um, so basically, maybe I can fit one more on her. Uh, cat slide, if this will fit, good. Um, <clears throat> so basically what you're going to want to do here is prolong the combo and then use your long moves. So what I'm going to do is probably go with uh, dash, light 5, launch, dash attack, knock back into my triple uh, special move combo. Because I'm trying to rack up the combo counter before I pull the trigger on my high damage moves. Because I will do zero damage to her until over 10 hits. So uh, I'm going to show you right here. She's taking zero damage. I've hit 10 hits, so I'm going to dash attack, and then go into the fiber, fiber upper um, Elgato. <clears throat> Basic uh, combo there. Also, I killed the dreadlocks a lot easier than I thought I would. I wasn't expecting that, but um, <clears throat> just a basic, just a basic showcase of what you're going to want to do here. You're going to want to quickly, with your light attacks rack up the combo counter, and then pull the trigger on your high damage moves once they're actually taking damage from your hits. Uh, I don't think this is, this might also be, yeah, this is also a challenging one up here. <clears throat> because this one is going to uh, require you only bronze fighters, and it's going to require a valentine and a double. I don't, okay, I can do this, good. Can I? Wait, I mean, that's not a valentine, it's a bella, never mind. Or it's not a double, it's a bella. Yeah, I don't have a Bella, so I can't do this one right now, sadly. <clears throat> but uh, for this one, it's just going to be, yeah, again, you're wanna, going to want to bring uh, the fighters that you required, obviously, and then maybe one that's not required that'll help you burn through them quickly. I'm, I would use Hellcat because that's who I have, and she does good damage, uh, especially in bronze tier. <clears throat> that's going to be a, another annoying one, and then, of course, the boss is going to be a frustrating one. Um... For this one, uh, what's, it's going to cut you down to water only and no gold and no diamond. And it's got all three of these debuffs on it, so you're just going to want to rock out with whatever, um, whatever water fighters you have available. For me, I have absolutely nothing upgraded, so I doubt I will win this. <laughs> We're going to give it a shot just to see if I can do it with like no, uh, no moves that work at all, because I only have a few... Um, I only have a few water fighters and none of them are upgraded or anything. So we're just going to see if we can do this for fun, but I really doubt it. Um, we'll give it a shot though. What you'll want to do for this note is just to bring um, bring certain fighters that have enough uh, combo hits to break through the annoying um, <clears throat> break through the annoying modifier that she has here. So, good fighters for this are obviously going to be Rage Appropriate, Pain Wheel, Robocopy Big Band, Bad Miss Frosty if you have uh, good um, <clears throat> blockbusters on her, Triss Kitten can work, Cold Stones is going to be rough because, um, Cold Stones is going to be rough because it's a Beowulf and it's hard to get over 10 hits, like cons a lot over 10 hits consistently with Beowulf, um, but yeah. Staple fighters with a lot of combo hits are going to be great, that are water type. Um, <clears throat> we're just going to go at this. I honestly don't think I'll win, but we'll give it a shot. And you're just going to, again, same strategy here, try to get um, over 10 hits, and then pull your trigger on your big moves. This might be a little bit boring to watch, but we're just going to go with the staple things, uh, staple combos. <clears throat> and if I win this, I'm going to get a pretty good long shot here, because she's a good bit stronger than me, and also upgraded. The main problem for me in this match is going to be that she has a she has an unblockable charge, or she, yeah, she already does. So it's going to be frustrating to, uh, frustrating to deal with that unblockable, but on the upside, I am dealing good damage to her. Oof. I was dealing good damage to her, and then she pulled the trigger on the unblockable. 
and she's also going to gain armor, so that's rough. <laughs> I made this way too unnecessarily hard on myself. Um, this will definitely be easier for y'all. Uh, I forget what this links into. I don't even think uh, Launcher links into this move. Yeah, I don't know why I brought this move. I forget what links into it. Um, this is just going to be an L because I don't really have anything that uh, is, is going to combo here. Yeah, she's going to pull that. I don't really have anything that's going to combo super well or a fighter that can take out that node, but you get the idea. That's just the general strategy when going at it. <clears throat> I'm going to quickly check here and see if there's anything else that'll give you trouble. This one you can bring diamonds. Uh, this one's not a... Okay. Mm, how many fighters do you get for this one? You get two fighters. This one probably won't be a problem for most people. That one's not going to be a problem. Uh, that one might be a little bit of a problem. You can only bring silver fighters for this, but it doesn't actually have any other uh, modifiers on it, so you should be good. Most people should be good with this note as well. And last one. Yeah, that's just limiting you to silver or below. So honestly, this is a quick just introductory video to these master stories because they're going to get a lot more complicated and a lot deeper into strategy as they go on. This one is really not that difficult for most players, but I figured I would start it off with this one so I can have a complete series. Those are the strategies. Um, yeah, you can watch it over if you need more advice. I don't know <clears throat> if you need to recap, but it's not too difficult on this one. Uh, let me know if I can change the format of how I do these. Maybe provide any more information. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, let me know that down below in the comment section if you have any suggestions on how to make these better before I get into the really difficult story chapters. But besides that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Feel free to leave any comments or questions in the comment section below. Uh, yeah, I appreciate your feedback. Like and subscribe. Uh, yeah, love y'all. Catch you later. Peace.